Previously, on Dust World. You seem to care awful lot about this person in Sierra. Yeah, well, we're all hunting someone, aren't we? I'm gonna take a Molotov and just drop it down the well. You do hear it explode, though. Is Kevin gonna die in my suit of armor? <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's the Molotov. Oh. You notice that there is a trail of, like, dead insects leading towards the um, Molotov. Oh! <laughs> what? what did I miss? <laughs> nope! <laughs> That's enough of that! Other way, other triple way, no. other way. Triple, triple, no. <laughs> it falls into the fire. Ah! Yes! Yeah. Now the bug is on fire. And it's coming out of the fire. <laughs> I'm stepping back slowly. Like, Clarence, I miscalculated. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about it? Send Stuart for the fire? The Wolfkin others. is inside of Stuart. He will definitely die. Bring it to your side of the fire. Now we follow our heroes. Gage Thane, a dust cast in sword wielding monk from the mountains of Black Earth. Clarence Wales, a telepathic child runaway whose mind is strong enough to bring grown men to their knees. Kevin Wolfkin, the sharpshooting, foul mouthed, fox faced hunter from a hidden village of war wolves. Let's see what becomes of them in Dust World. Well, I can't do that oh, physically do we roll on account yeah. of being good. Sling Girl 10 is going to be the... Uh, oh my gosh, why are you so bad at initiative? You know, it makes sense, because you're slow. That's Wait, don't I get one per battle? Uh, what? Lucky? Uh, I roll? I thought it was one per battle. Sure. 13. That's pretty good. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now the bug might not kill me. <laughs> Watch it roll a 20. Yeah, you regen. Well, well, how much damage should you take? Twelve. Okay. Yeah, I probably will need it at this point. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bug so the idea is to keep it in the fire as long as possible to cook it. Basically. <laughs> Are you hungry? No. But we're killing it. Um. So we need to basically block it in. I can send Stuart in to block it on one side. While you do something to keep, you know, you're going to have to stand your ground. And I'll stand my ground. By the way, do we have any stamina or anything regenerate during this rest time? Uh, you didn't rest. Clarence, call it back over to your side, please. <laughs> look delicious, Clarence. Look delicious. Clarence, you're small and wiry. He probably thinks you look like a fly anyways. Just, just make some kind of image for him. <laughs> oh, this would be a good time. Do you have hallucinate? I don't think you do. <laughs> Clarence is mentally glaring at me at this point. <laughs> you just all you can see is the image of Clarence looking at you and your and your eyes are like Don't look at me like that, you know that's true. Well, I could side blast it. I need it in the fire and not towards me. If I'm side blasting it, it's gonna think I'm a priority. You know how you had fun with the idea of fire earlier? You noticed that you the, want the bug, the to bug go has away the remnants you. of Saloon Girl like clothes kinda of tattered and hanging up there. Clarence, so what's her name? That's that's a saloon girl. This is a saloon girl. We are fighting a saloon girl. She is much more terrifying. Are, are we sure pretty. it isn't just Zazzle? I don't know. I'm throwing another cocktail at it. No, it's actually kind of important because I'm throwing a cocktail. It's the difference between using control on her or... So, I'm um, going to step control. back towards like kind of the segue, closer to the other side of the cave. You see where I am now? Mm -hmm. I'm going to step back and I'm going to throw a cocktail probably right about here to attempt to like keep it in that little zone in between. Okay, okay. you know what? Okay, new plan. So, where well, do I... Um, I don't know, that be a... Gosh... Darn it, Gage! <laughs> you notice nothing. The six. You pick your nose. Do it. You don't find treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to pass go. I don't collect 200. I throw another Molotov. So I'm going to chuck a Molotov right there. Okay. Um, use... Would that be a ranged attack? For yeah, this? ranged attack. Okay. <sighs> I have to choose a target, so should I just go ahead and choose the bug? And... Yep. Okay. Congratulations, Gage. You, you and you're just it. trying to, to throw it. Just chuck it right onto the ground there. Yeah, like right here to kind of chuck it on yourself. It 
14. That's not bad for a light toss. I don't think that'd be too bad. No, that's easy enough. All right. Um, okay, so the buggy's like, ah, burn, buggy, burn. And there's like, too much risk involved in trying to control it because it might be controlled by... I, I threw a Molotov, so just distract it. Get it to go towards you, maybe, something, possibly. Or I could just shoot ducks in a barrel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to side blast it. You know side blast can't kill anything, right? It can hurt it, can it? It can hurt it, but you can't take anything below 1 HP with side blast. Well, it's currently on fire. I mean, is that... Do you need to side blast? Just yeah, saying. maybe I don't want to waste the stamina. I don't really. That's why I didn't do any like sword. Attack. What are my abilities? Is one of them telekinesis off. or something? Anything? I don't want to really. Two molotovs left. I better make them count. Okay. Well, it's the bug's turn. The bug is gonna try and get through the fire. I hope it burns its face off. It, One. it climbs on the wall and slips because it's still on fire. It lands in the fire. <laughs> yes. Um, do I really need to do it? Think at this point. <laughs> and you just hear it going. <laughs> no, Did I don't think I do. It died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clarence, I killed it. Now it's just laying in the fire like sizzling. Oh, screw you. You know, actually, it's, it's arms and legs are like popping. I'm just very, very happy I did not. Have Clarence, do you think praying mantis tastes good? <laughs> like, for is yourself. it edible? <laughs> well, at this point, I've left you alone on the other side, so. Please don't. <laughs> well, I'm over here, you're over there. So oh, get is, over uh, here, is go further. Come on. No longer applicable since I killed it? Right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start walking down the other side of the cave towards him. <laughs> is I he guess. going to get the irresistible problem then? <laughs> uh, no, because I'm not interacting with him. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna walk down and try not to. Oh man! Roll D twenty. Roll D. You suck. <laughs> you no, suck. I just I, my D twenty rolls have not been well tonight. Uh, you, you did. Do fine. I have affinity? I guess to that. Uh, do you have any? Or No, probably mine, wouldn't it? You did fine. You rolled like what? I have I have two affinity for a bonus. Is what it is mind it? or affinity that's going to take this? I can't remember what we decided last uh, time. Affinity. Affinity, so two, so I have 15. Well, no, sorry, mine. Mine? Okay, so... Four, so it's only minus one. So you're, you're like... Ooh, ooh. ooh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, bug creature, bug creature. Focus, They focus, are praying mantises. Focus. They yeah. are praying mantises. You managed to make it through. Come on, <laughs> through the gauntlet of beautiful women. Hey, Kevin just texted. I just woke up. <laughs> well, if he joins in, then we can just have Kevin wake up. Give him a quick recap. Uh, well, he's, no, he doesn't get a recap. He was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in a cave, and you don't you get to get ask questions. You can get a recap later when That's we're funny. not fighting. I, I kind of like that idea, actually. Okay. Let's see how much he can place. Okay, uh, so... What are you guys doing? Guess we continue down the path to hell. <laughs> um, do we notice anything in this area oh, where the praying mantis would chill? I'm going this way. Wow, I didn't even know I could do that. Where do you direct him? I didn't know I could change his direction. Oh yeah. Do we notice anything uh, yes. in the uh, in the cave, like where the praying mantis was chilling? Anything special or significant? Uh, that way. Just in general. Click like, where you're wanting to look. Like this entire. Okay. In this entire area, like right around from here to up ahead, like over here, wherever it's gonna say. It's like just the general area, like, and then also if there's anything up ahead that we should notice, like a light or bugs or a zazzle or another praying mantis. Okay. Clarence, I only have two Molotovs left, so uh, we can only pull that trick once. We need to do once. a Zazzle, too. Uh, we can only pull that party trick so many times. Well, telekinesis is a thing if we need to cave in. Well, yeah, if we need to cave in the cave. I really feel like that's not going... If you've seen ants, they tunnel their way out of anything. I feel like these bugs, if they can heal a human body, they probably get their subs out of there. We need to kill it. Plus, we might be able to release everyone else that's stuck there. 
Of course, here's the problem with caves, is that they're not the most air-filled places. So you guys see more. Okay. Look at your own risk. Look at my own risk. <sighs> oh. Dang it, dang it, dang it! Hey! Hello. Oh, what's up? We could use you. Welcome, Kevin. Guess where you are right now? From the insides of Stephen. Oh, you're, uh... you're not in a body bag. Close. You're you're inside of Stuart. Yeah, I saw you wanted to make me into some stupid armor thing. No, we didn't make you into armor thing. You're physically inside of Stuart. I oh. figured. We what? were gonna leave you in the bar, but then we felt that we might need you, and so we shoved you inside of the suit of armor. Please leave Stuart now. Oh, but I enjoyed Stephanie. No, that's okay. Hello, players. It's Paul Purnell, your purveyor of fun and exciting stories. You know, your GM. I could also be your second best friend if you want. Anyway, if you're interested in putting a shout out in the show or being a sponsor, please email us at business at paulparnell.com. We would love to hear your feedback on the show and the characters, and you can find all of our social links in the show notes below to connect with us. We also really appreciate you sharing the show with your friends. Every like and share and follow just really means so much to us. We just want to say thank you. Finally, let us know if you'd be interested in a Dust World beta that you could play with your friends. We really appreciate you playing along with us. Now let's see what happens. Did any of you guys ever buy any stim packs or anything? Any healing items? I don't think I did. <laughs> no, I didn't because we're dumb. I'm not dumb, just uh, priorities. Yeah, priorities are shooting people. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, no. so you wake up uh, and you're inside of Stuart. Ready and role play. Oh no! Did you do that? Please leave Stuart. Uh. Please exit him. <laughs> it's not that hard. You can talk. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> no, just please in time. leave Stuart. No, no. At this point, I meant to. Tell you. Clarence, okay, Clarence. So, no, no, Clarence, walk him forward in Stuart's body to go fight the mantis. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stuart looks Let's like just have the reaction. He can hear you. Going to make you. <laughs> <laughs> I fought the last one. It's Kevin's turn. He's been sleeping. <laughs> I don't want to imperil Stuart that way. <laughs> okay, I'm so, totally okay with Kevin. So Stuart, just, just make great bait. Just opens up around you like Iron Man. <laughs> And then, like, it goes back together. Oh, well, that was disturbing. <laughs> Welcome back to the land of living. It's been a while. Giant bugs, more bugs. More saloon girls and more bugs. Yeah, so, Kevin, to fill you in just a quick second, that bug is a saloon girl, so... Yeah, don't hit any other saloon girls, you see. We just managed to kill one. With um, fire. <laughs> What? Did they not want to kill us? Not right now. No. Apparently not. They're busy uh, caretaking, caretaking like mud dauber, <laughs> like hives on the walls, which in and of itself is problematic. We should probably knock them out. That's out disturbing. Today. Yeah. It's been a disturbing day. Um, <laughs> everyone, roll spot. Speaking of disturbing. Yeah, I cry. <laughs> it just never attack. All right, there we oh. go. Hey, 21. 21. Wow. You know. <laughs> Kevin's still a little groggy. <laughs> Kevin did pretty good. He got a 15. But when we can outroll him with perception, that's when you know things are wrong. Oh my gosh, what are those? <laughs> you guys notice that there are uh, pressure plates in the floor. And you're able Absolutely to blame you. What? I eternally blame Clarence. Is this why? Is this in character? You started this. Yes. Preston, or, uh, we would have Ke been down here regardless. Kevin asks where you guys are. 
We are currently under a cave, under the saloon. We attacked Zazzle, you got knocked out, and now we are trying to find her, but we found out that there's larger bugs. And yes, yeah, so I would not step forward, guys. Pressure plates. Also, the guy who shot you is having a rather sad ending. I offered him He's a quick dead. death. He said no for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he offered Gage a quick death, too. <laughs> Are we talking about the three-gun guy? Yeah. Yeah. A moment of silence, I guess. I gave him my bottle of tequila. After fighting these battles, I realized I should have kept it. I need a drink. <laughs> he also... You probably end up with one of these bug ladies in your stomach. <laughs> Pretty true, but at the same time. Right. So... Kevin, we have another problem. And perhaps you can be the solution since you are the quickest and lightest of us. Perhaps maybe you should navigate the pressure plates first. Well, Vol from what I'm looking at, my HP is very low. I'm volunteering you, you as tribute. I hope you know. This. <laughs> 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 You've been volunteered as tribute. Okay, so I mean, I guess I could technically question. Actually, yes. um, how far into the dirt are they? Could I lift them telekinetically? Uh, you could trigger them if nothing else. Are they one-shot triggers, or are they multiple? Like, if you hit them multiple times? Try, try them and find out. So... I've been following this tribute. <laughs> I'm just gonna poke one with my sword from far away. Are you? Like, yeah, I'm just gonna tap it real quick and jump back. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll this one. Dang it, I hate it when you say that, because it's like I can't just get away with it. <laughs> Uh, it's, well, there's no it's not, uh, it, we're not in turn. All right. That's what yet. I'm talking about. Okay. So the useless here's what 20 rolls. Is you, <laughs> I know. you hit the pressure plate so hard that it cracks in the middle. The blade comes out and you like merrily dodge it and like cut it in a way so that it actually bends up and jams into the wall. So it's stuck. All right. So it's not even explosive. So this we still one. have a lot more of those. Oh, you know what, Kevin? I'm not seeing you participating. <laughs> Your turn. Going to pick up rocks. Go if ahead. If I have a chance, it's my turn. Sure. It, we're not in turn turn based okay. right now. Then I'm going to throw all the rocks at the pressure plates. <laughs> okay. So they hit the pressure plates and blades. You see how it kind of looks faded? These blades are zinging out from the walls in a circular pattern. <laughs> Now, considering if this is exactly where they're placed, that means we have a very small area between them that we can relatively just walk through. You know, I, I like close yep. shades, but... Since, since you guys have seen where they are now, I'll give you a plus two to dodging. I feel like... This direction is a bad idea. There is not really much of another direction. We may or may not have burned one path and... Yeah, if you look behind you, yeah. there's a lot of fire. <laughs> I was gonna sell, say something smells good. <laughs> Pray Mantis, I was saying we should try it, but uh, Clarence apparently didn't like the idea. I didn't say anything of the kind, I'm just not interested myself. Okay, uh, one of the saloon girls mm -hmm. walks by you guys, and then as the blades, like, start coming out and stuff, she's just like, whoop, whoop, dodges left and right, really, uh, gracefully. If I could just grab her. And she walks through. I just walking towards us. What? I thought you said she was walking towards us. Well, she walked towards you guys, past you, and through the... Tunnel. Yeah, through mm -hmm. through the traps. <laughs> All right, I'm okay, gonna pull out. So copy that. You gonna go first? <laughs> sure. Well, it's that, or I could go first. And I was thinking, if I go first with a, uh, what is it? I think <laughs> I have speed. it. I hope my speed. Well, if I have it, it could swords defense. I figured if I have both my swords out going through there. Do you think I could activate that to assist, possibly deflecting them or breaking them as I go? Guardian, you mean? 
No, Swords Defense. Oh, uh, to counter them? Yeah, I'm thinking if I yeah. ran with two swords doing that, maybe <laughs> if I hit them hard enough, I can bend them or damage them like I did the first one as I'm going through. Yeah. No. Question. I need yeah. to check the spell. How sheet. high and how low are the blades? Um, the blades, they're about like mid, mid high. They're high enough. Like you could probably army crawl underneath them. Um, but you how pro- tall is the cave? Uh, the cave is maybe like a <laughs> few feet taller than you. So maybe like eight to 10 feet. I'm just gonna jump up the cave and run. <laughs> do you do you have wall crawl? I have agility. Uh, do you have fast? I don't remember. I I think you can just. I mean, I would consider that the same as just trying to dodge past them. Uh, okay. Actually, it probably would have a lower target number to dodge past them to run than run on the walls like Spider Man. Alright then, what's the dodge roll thingy? So just roll dodge. dodge. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Sure did the Spider-Man. <laughs> what did he do? I didn't even see that I was reading something on the uh macros. Oh. That's oh, you, you got a nine. <clears throat> Can I try to last second reach out and grab him and yank him back right as he's about to try and do this stupid endeavor? Sure. Roll D20. Okay. You did it wrong. Uh, add... Coordination, you think? Or sure. Four, so 15. <laughs> yes, you barely succeed. Okay. So, last, last, last second. Last second, he, you try to like do something tricky... You, like, land funny, and Gage, like, whacks you with the flat side of his sword, <laughs> and you, you fall back onto your butt, and the blade comes, like, right by your nose and cuts off one of your whiskers. I don't need those anyway. <laughs> I think you never hurts, but I'll let you go for now. I think I should go first. All right. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do the butt scoot like dogs do. <laughs> <laughs> um, You'll be too high. You'll get your head chopped off. Infinite Pixel is a proud member of Nerdsmith.org, a collaborative network for delivering nerdy entertainment, fan-supported, and shared with all. If you would like to support Dust World or any of our other shows, you can go to Nerdsmith.org and click Donate. In a world that's forgotten the meaning of hero. We're not actually helping that much. It's like a cardboard box. It's all old and kind of ratty. Um, I believe there might be some mistake. I said proctor equipment. Yeah, no, this this is it. Bronze badge, lost and found. Here you go. Mm. <laughs> and the arrow didn't hit bone, so you can reuse it. Reuse the bone? We're looking for a dragon named the Scottish Play. There's only so much that editing can do. <laughs> Is there someone else we can talk to? Nobody quite as cheerful as Robin. You mean they get worse? And more privileged, yes. Stone Coast Railway, Cal! <laughs> Come to Stone Coast Railway! Come on, Cal! He seemed excited by the prospect. He was, and then he found out that it devalues the painting, and that kind of broke his heart a little bit. His little heart a little bit. <laughs> yeah, how's that feel? Take that. Bad. <laughs> you can talk with that? Oh, no! Was there, was there a joke was, in there, Cal? Yeah. No, you wanna, you no wanna, I'm fine. Do you want to take another swing at that one? Shenanigans. An actual play D&D podcast. Available on nerdsmith.org or wherever you get your podcasts. Podcasts.